Hello YouTube, welcome to it here Googs. Today I will show you how to use a MIDI controller in Android emulator, especially in piano learning applications like Simply Piano, Floki and Scoop. When Windows 11 officially released, I was very happy that uh, it had supposed supported Android applications. But it's now three months past. Uh, still, there is no official release that can support all Android applications. Uh, in my case, I was very, very interested to use piano learning applications, as I said, uh, to use in my computer rather than in this small-sized smartphone. I have searched a lot uh, in, in, in installing these Android applications in my computer Windows 11. Uh, some people have uh, successfully installed APK applications in Windows 11 using uh, Windows Android subsystem, but I have no luck in my case. So I have tried to search another option that's so common, Android emulator used in Windows, especially Nox player and LED player. I used Nox player and I tried to use simply piano so as to activate MIDI controller in my computer. For the first step uh, in this case is you need to go to search and you need to go sound settings so from sound settings then go to the bottom of uh, this drop down menu and you need to click to more sound settings from the advanced options then from this more sound settings you need to activate all the playback devices, speakers, speakers and headphones. If, if anything here in the list is disabled, you have to enable it. The next column is recording one. So from this recording list, you need to uh, activate all devices, especially stereo mix. By the way, you need to install Realtek Audio if, if in case you don't have in your computer to use Stereo Mix as an input device in Android emulator applications. So I need to enable this. Once you enable it, you just need to go back to sound settings again. Settings. So from sound settings, you got to go to the advanced options, volume mixer. From the volume mixer, as you can see, I have already uh, started a Nox player, you can drag and drop your Simply Piano or Scoob or Floki directly to the window of Nox player and it will install it automatically. Then after you start this Nox player, this is an Android em emulator uh, software in Windows, you need to click it on Nox. Nox and then you know you need to look at the input device instead of just leaving as a default you got to click it here and choose stereo mix real take audio now the input device will be this stereo mix so you need to restart your Nox player once you change it the audio input output settings once you restart your Nox player you just need to open your Simply Piano and then you just need to have another application which can be directly used as a MIDI controller for Sim Simply Piano. In my case I have Reaper so I just, just need to open Reaper and then from the instruments I have this. So when I play notes uh, in Reaper it also play notes in simply piano as you can see so that's all please like my video and thank you for watching me